Hi, this is Dr. Caruso. Thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a new Animoto from scratch. How to add a title, an image, text, a voice narrated video, a screen recording, and background music. Let's head on over to Animoto to get started. I've created an account with Animoto and I'm going to now select Create so that I can start my new project. And I'm going to choose Start from Scratch. And when I do that, there are still some choices that I can use for a theme, or I can skip this part. I'm just going to take a brief look here to see what my choices are and I'm going to choose blank slate. And the reason that I'm going pretty simple is because that sometimes some of these templates interfere with the content that you would like to add. So I'm gonna go pretty basic here and I'm going to stick with the default landscape 16-9 ratio. And if you already have your images and videos that you're going to use for this project, stored here is where you can upload them at this time or you can upload them later so for now i'm going to skip the upload media and now i have my blank presentation uh, down here this is the timeline so anything you add here will be shown here and as well as how many seconds the duration of each element is so I know that I have to follow a storyboard. So I'm going to go back to my storyboard to see exactly uh, what it is that I am to develop for this project. Everyone's storyboard will be a little bit different, but the purpose of showing you this part is to show you that you do need to follow a storyboard. I've accessed my storyboard and I can see for this particular assignment, for this particular project, my training topic is how to order cleaning supplies. I know that it must be two to three minutes in length with background music. So you always need to be sure that you are also following the criteria of the syllabus or the guidelines for your project. I'm going to include a title. I'm going to include a video clip of how to fill out the order supply form. And this is going to be a voice narrated video clip. I'm going to include an image of an order supply form. And then I'm going to end it with any credits that I should give to music or other individuals who may have appeared in my project. So let's head on back over to Animoto to get started. By default, Animoto adds one slide to begin your presentation. You could use this and drag some media in this location, or you can delete it and then add back a block or a slide that you would like. So you can see here when you click on the Add button, you're given a choice of a layout. You can have media only, text only, or media and text. I'm going to go with text only, only because this first part is my main title. So it's the title of my training. And I am going to click this and I'm going to edit the text here. How to order cleaning supplies. Now, if I want this title, to be on just one line, I can bring down the font size a little bit so that it fits all on one line. So know that you have some options of editing the text color, the text size in this editing box here. More options, you can bring things to the front, move them backwards. So much like you would have options for Microsoft Word, for example. So I'm finished with my title slide. I see that it has a duration of four seconds. 
If you had more text on this slide and you wanted it to show for more than four seconds or even less than four seconds, you can adjust the time that it's going to show in your movie by the minus sign or the plus sign. So I'm just going to bump it up to five seconds. Then I'm going to go down to my timeline and I am going to add another block. And following my storyboard, I know that I need to insert a voice narrated video clip. So I'm going to choose this first one that is for media only. And I'm going to choose record. Now there's a couple of things that you can record. You can record a video of yourself explaining a topic, or you could record your screen and explain the topic by using something that's on your screen. Now my topic is how to fill out an order supply form. So it really would depend how I approach this of how the process really is within that organization. So some organizations may have you actually take a hard copy form and fill it out by hand. Uh, some organizations may have that supply order form stored someplace on the computer where it's computerized. So I'm going to show you a couple of different video clips that you might include and then I'll choose one to finish the project. So once you're ready to record, you click on record, you choose screen or camera. I'm going to start with camera first. When I select camera, you can see here that the camera is ready to record. So if you wanted to record yourself lecturing or you wanted re to record yourself demonstrating a skill, uh, whatever the case may be, this is how you would do it and then you would go ahead and click the record button. So for purposes of this demonstration, I am just going to assume that the organization uses a hard copy supply order form and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on record. Hi, and welcome to Zoom and Groom. To complete a supply order form, you will need to take a pad of paper and write down certain information. You will need to include your name, your phone, your email, your address, the item, the item's description, the quantity, the unit price, and the amount. These are the things that you would jot down and then give to your supervisor. Now, once I am finished recording, I can click the stop button here, which I'm going to do. If you're happy with the recording, you can play the clip here. If you're happy with it, you save the recording. And here you get a message, your recording is processing or it is complete. By clicking project, you can see that that video clip has been added to your project. So here is where you would take it and drag it over into your project. You can play it back here. Um, it will only play back with sound if you click this main play video button. Hi, and welcome to Zoom and Groom. To complete a supply order form, you will need, and you can see that it has recorded uh, you demonstrating the skill of completing a hard copy supply order form. Now, let's say that the organization does not use the hard copy, but they use a digital copy. So I don't need this video. So what I'm going to do is I am going to delete this block. I'm going to add another block. 
again, I just want media only. And media only, you can choose some different effects. But for now, I'm going to choose this very plain one. And I'm going to go up to record. And this time, I'm going to record my screen. So when I do that, uh, it shows everything that is on my screen so far. So I want to make sure that I am recording the thing that I want to really record. So I'm going to bring that up right now. And you have options of recording the entire screen, a window, or something in your Chrome tab. The thing that I want to record is in a window. It's a Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to click on that. And what this Word document is, is a, a supply requisition form that is located on a computer. So I'm going to click Share. And when I do that, it shows me the supply requisition form. So I'm going to just resize my window because if I keep it on full size, I can't see the control buttons of Animoto. So I'm just going to reduce the size so that I can see the record button. And when I'm ready to record and talk about how to complete this form, I would just click the record button. So I'm going to do that now and I'll talk about the form. This is the supply order form you will need to complete. You will fill in your name, phone number, email address, the store location, and the city. You will put in the item number, a description of the item, how many you need, the unit price, and the amount, which is the quantity times the unit price. So here I'll demonstrate, let's see, let's say you need room deodorizer. You would fill in the item number, description, quantity, unit price, And then the amount would be the quantity times the unit price. In this case, it would be $50. And then you would add the 20 plus the 50. In this case, it would be giving you 70. So you can see that I was finished with the recording, so I click Stop. And here in this window is your opportunity to review the clip and either retake it or save it. I'm going to choose to save it. And it's uploading to my library. So since the library isn't showing on the right hand side here, I'm going to double click here and say replace media. When I do that, the media library shows and I'm going to drag this over here. So, so far I have a title and then I have a video and my video is 1 minute 19 seconds. So I'm almost within that 2 to 3 minute criteria of the assignment. I'm going to add a block and I'm going to add text only and I'm going to choose one of these layouts I'm going to choose this one I'm going to modify it in a little bit and I'm going to say follow these steps to order supplies. And then I'm going to list them out. 
and I'm going to left justify this and I'm going to list out the steps. So in this slide, I actually detailed the steps that it will take to for the process of completing an order form. And I believe that this slide should really go before I demonstrate how to. So I'm just going to pick it up and move it. It has a duration of 10 seconds. If you would like to reduce or increase the duration, you do it with the minus or plus signs. And I know that I need to also add an image. So I'm going to add, uh, actually, I'm going to delete that one. And I'm going to add one. That has media and text. And here I'm just going to say here is a, a, a sample of a completed order form. And then I'm going to actually add the image here. So here I'm going to I don't need the subtitle, so I'm going to delete this subtitle. And this text, I am going to left justify it. And then here, I have a place on my computer where I have an image of a completed order form. So I'm going to import it from my device. And I know that it is on my desktop. It's called Supply Order Form. I uploaded it a while ago, so I'm going to upload that. And then I'm going to drag it over here. Then I'm going to scale it. It's a little bit large so I can scale it so that the whole thing will show. So I'm going to, I have my title, then I have the steps to follow, then I have the image and I have the process. I think the completed order form should go after this one here. So I'm going to change the order and I can see that my whole movie so far my whole video is one minute and 37 seconds I need to give credit to any music or anything that is included so when I go to audio I can see that by default Animoto has added something that's called spring and it's an instrumental and here is where you can control the behavior of this video. Uh, I'm sorry, this audio. So here, if you click on it, um, you can have it play throughout the entire 
video or your entire project or you can use the slide bar to only have it play for certain points in your Animoto. And you can see here how it's showing you that it's playing at this point. If I drag it even more, it only plays for 26 seconds. If I drag it even more, it's only going to play for the 10 seconds. You can also increase or decrease the volume here. If you don't want the defaulted, that's instrumental called spring, you can choose one of the other instrumentals. I'm just going to leave it here, but I know that I need to give some credit that this is the song that is playing throughout my video, but I'm also going to make sure that the volume is rather low so that when my video comes on explaining how to complete that order form that my voice is heard and the music is very soft. So right now I'm going to close this because I'm not changing anything but I am going to add a text only slide. And I'm just going to thank my audience for watching. And the subtitle here, I'm just going to say the instrumental music was by Spring. So now I'm at the 1 minute 41 second point. I know that my video should be two to three minutes. So there's a couple of things I can do. I can make a second video with some more deeper explanation. I can increase the times that these uh, different blocks are showing. And you don't want to like make them show for so long that it doesn't make any sense, but bringing them up a few seconds here and there, there's nothing wrong with that. So now I can see that my entire project is 2 minutes and 12 seconds. I'm going to play it to review it. This is the supply order form you will need to complete. You will fill in your name, phone number, unit price, and then you would add the 20. And I think everything is looking pretty good. So I'm going to give my Animoto video a name. And this name is Supply Order Form. Things are being saved automatically. Uh, if you do not want the audio to play over your voice narration, Again, you can adjust it in the timeline here so that only it plays at certain points. By moving the slide bar, you can even have it start at a different point to bypass anything that you 
don't want an instrumental but in the video you could hear that my voice narration was louder than the music uh, the music was very soft so you do have the ability to bring down the volume so i think everything is looking really good i'm going to close this and now it's time to share my project so i'm going to go to share Download is a feature that is available only as an upgrade. So we want to click share again, and we want to get the embed code. And then here I'm going to say, I'm going to leave auto start off. I'm going to leave loop off, but I'm going to click it just so that the embed code appears and then unclick it. And then I'm going to copy this embed code and then paste it into a learning management system like desire to learn or eventually you will paste it into a website. So you copy this embed code and you are all set to submit your project. Should you need to edit your video, you can go back and edit your video. Maybe you need to add something, delete something. This is how you would do it. Uh, again, it is automatically saving as you work. If you want to go back to your projects, you can go back to the home page here. And then you can see that uh, you have different options for the project you just worked on. You can continue editing. You can share it in a number of ways. In this tutorial, I've showed you how to create a new Animoto from scratch, add a title, add an image, add text, add a voice narrated video, add a screen recording, and add background music. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.